in Emily Dickinson's famous poem, I'm Nobody, Who Are You? The speaker announces she is, in fact, a nobody. Then, having ascertained her silent addressee is another nobody, she counsels not to tell they are two nobodies so they can avoid attention. The speaker is glad not to be a somebody, finding that status too public and too like a frog croaking to assumed admirers, continually revealing herself to others. This is the entire poem. I'm nobody, who are you? Are you nobody too? Then there's a pair of us, don't tell, they'd advertise, you know. How dreary to be somebody, how public like a frog, to tell one's name the live long June to an admiring bog. This short, playful two stanza poem in ballad meter reflects the speaker's desire to remain anonymous and her distaste for both public attention and those who seek it. A nobody is someone who keeps to herself, whereas a somebody is someone who wants public acclaim. The metaphor of society as an admiring bog continues a frog simile and reflects a satiric slap at those who value noise and show above substance. Now, although the tone is light, the thought is serious. Indeed, when considering Dickinson's life, readers can readily connect the speaker and the poet who deliberately chose anonymity. Like the speaker, Dickinson wished to remain anonymous during her life, unwilling for her work to be published and thereby exposed to an audience whose understanding might have proved as shallow as the croaking frog seeking attention from an admiring bog. Dickinson's writing is often secret, oblique, figurative, enigmatic, and not at all meant for public display. And that is how Emily Dickinson wanted it to remain. The implied comparison between her private self and those who seek attention publicly leads her to poke fun at the somebody who craves attention like a frog croaking all summer to an audience of like-minded individuals. The implication, too, is the loftier status of a worthy nobody is incomprehensible to an unworthy somebody who must spend considerable time proclaiming their own importance.